Welcome to Sunday School for Little Ones at First Baptist Church of Shawnee, Oklahoma for children birth through three years old. Today we're going to talk about how thankful we are that God is strong. Remember the story of Moses? Moses sang a wonderful song of thanks to God. We're going to make some instruments so that we can also sing and praise God together. You're going to need two spoons for every kid, some markers, a little bit of tape, and something that will be like celebratory, strips or ribbon or this like crepe paper stuff. What you do first is you decorate your spoons. Maybe you want to put pictures on them. Maybe you just want to color them a solid color. At any rate, you can spend some time doing that. And these are washable markers that I have here. Um, it might be that markers that are not washable would be a better choice if you feel like your child will do well with that. Um, anyway, after they've decorated them however they want, we're just gonna put the streamers on. And I thought I'd probably put one or two on each, on each one. Pretty easy. All right, and now we've got something that we can really um, make noise with. Do something that feels like a celebration. Ooh, don't forget to put on your tape really well. Um, and just have a time of thanksgiving and rejoicing. So we'll do that together um, and we'll play a game with it later. And let's remember not to hit our friends with these, okay? We can hit stuff, but not people or animals. All right, um, so we're gonna start uh, today with our Bible song and I'll be right back to sing it with you. Who is strong? God is strong. We know that partly by reading his special book, the Bible, and all the stories about how God uses his strength to love and help his people. Let's sing a song together about that. This is God's special book. Yes, it's God's book, you see. I learned about how God has done and his love for me. This is God's special book. Yes, it's God's book, you see. I learned about all God has done and his love for me. Bible! Let's hear an exciting Bible story and learn that God is strong and how thankful his people were that he came and was strong for them. Well, this is our very last week to talk about this Bible story. Can you find Moses with a white beard? Can you point to that? Right there, there's Moses. Let's tell him hello. Hello, Moses. Moses and the Israelite people who are here and here, they all loved God, but there was a mean king in charge of them named Pharaoh, and he did not love God at all. He had on a special king hat. Can you see the, the guy with the special king hat? There he is. And there's his royal robes, and there's his helper. Let's point to him and say, bad king, bad king. He didn't love God, and he made God's people work terribly hard in the hot, hot sun making bricks. We've been trying to think about what it would be like to make bricks. It wouldn't be very nice, but I thought of something fun to do with them today. Get yourself a graham cracker and then break it into four pieces, like this. Those sort of look like bricks. And then you can use something to stack them up together. You could use peanut butter or cream cheese. What I happen to have is frosting. So I'll take my pretend brick and I'll put the pretend mortar on it because you know bricks have to stick together and in real bricks they use 
this sticky stuff like mud or cement to put them together. And then after we've started stacking our bricks, we can stack even more bricks. We can make it work real hard at doing this like the people who loved God, the Israelites did. Yeah. All right, they would stack those bricks and big, build big buildings. Well, we can just eat them like this. Hmm. All good. Hmm. Well, you know, we worked hard to make that. So it was really good. But the Israelites weren't having a really good time making all these bricks to build big buildings for the bad king, Pharaoh. But you know what? God was about to use his great strength to help his people escape from Pharaoh. Where did they go? Let's find out. Are you still enjoying eating your bricks? Well, you should keep eating them while I tell you a story. The rest of the story is that God led his people away from the bad king, right to the edge of the Red Sea. A whole bunch of water gathered together. They came to the edge of the Red Sea. They were escaped from the Pharaoh, the bad king. And then what do you think they heard? <laughs> going to help them or not. But what did God do? God put a big pillar cloud between them and the bad king so that the bad king couldn't see them. Can you cover your eyes so you can't see? The bad king could not see God's people. That was really good, but they still had a problem. They still had this great big bunch of water between them and escaping. What do you think God did next? Do you remember? Pharaoh was coming. And then God told Moses to raise up the stick that was in his hand and pray and ask God for help. He did that. And then God made a path through the sea for Moses and the people to walk through on dry ground and escape. It was wonderful. And Moses led the people to safety on the other side of the Red Sea. Then what happened? Do you remember? Pharaoh and his army said, oh, we'll just follow you. And so then they started going on the dry path through the sea, but God used his great strength to close that up right over the bad king. And the bad king and all his chariots and people that were chasing God's chosen people, they were drowned. Glup, glup, swallowed up. The sea closed up. The mean soldiers were swept away. There was no more path through the sea. No one could come after God's people. They were safe on the other side. What happened to the bad soldiers and the bad king? Glup, glup, swallowed up. Moses and the Israelite people learned that God is strong. In fact, God is so strong, he can do anything. God helps us that way too. Moses sang a thank you song to God after he delivered the people in this way from the bad king. Let's sing a thank you song to God together. Moses and the Israelite people learned that God is strong. He made the sea go back so they could have a dry place to cross. And then everyone came out safe on the other side. They were safe and happy. And Moses led them in a thankful song. Let's you and I sing a thankful song too.
is strong. You sure do sound happy, Cuddles. I've been listening to this whole Bible story and it is so exciting. Imagine those mean old soldiers chasing Moses after God's people and God parted the whole sea and people walked through. Neato Kino. I'm so glad that God is strong. Come along and sing my song. I'm so glad that God is strong. Well, Cuddles, we certainly heard about how Moses sang a thank you song. Moses thanked God for his help. See, Moses and the people safely went across the Red Sea and they were so happy and thankful they wanted to praise God. So Moses sang a thankful song to God. Just like the one I've been singing? That's right. We're all thankful that God is strong. Why don't you go get the praise tappers you made and we'll learn a thankful little thing to sing or say with our praise tappers. Are you ready? All right. Tap my head. Tap my shoe. Thank you, God, I love you. Tap on red, tap on blue. Thank you, God, I love you. Tap out one, tap out two. Thank you, God, I love you. Want to do it again? All right, this time see if you can find something red and blue to tap on. Ready? Tap my head, tap my shoe. Thank you, God, I love you. Tap on red. Tap on blue. Thank you, God, I love you. Tap out one, tap out two. Thank you, God, I love you. I bet you can make up your own rhymes of things to say and different ways to say thank you, God. Who's the strongest of them all? It's God. We've been learning that God is strong. And we learned that Moses thanked God for his strength with this song. God loves us too. He loves us so much that he sent his son Jesus to help us. Jesus died for our sins. That's a lot of love. If we believe in Jesus and love him back, someday we'll live with him in heaven. Let's pray and thank God so much for all of these things. Hold your hands with me. Dear God, thank you for using your great strength to help and protect Moses and us. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for joining us for Sunday School. This week on Wednesday night, we're going to meet together at the snow cone stand across from the movie 8 and have free snow cones for everybody. It's a come and go for the night before school starts. Hope to see you there. Bye.